welcome back to the Inspired Entrepreneur with Heather Hope. Hey guys, this is Heather Hope. Welcome back to the Inspired Entrepreneur podcast. So thank you for being here. I appreciate you guys so much. Happy Saturday. I forgot to say yesterday, happy Friday. Because that was always a thing before my husband and I even dated. Out of the blue, he would send me a message saying, Happy Friday. And it would always make me smile because it was cute coming from a friend-zoned guy. (laughs) You know what I mean? Anyway, uh, welcome to Saturday. Welcome to October 17th. What a great date. I don't know why. Well, 17 I like. And October, I like October. So we are, what, two weeks away from Halloween. That's pretty cool. It's one of my most favorite holidays. Let me know in the comment section what's your favorite holiday because I'd love to know. Okay, so... My name is Heather Hope. I'm a law of attraction business coach. So I help entrepreneurs and self-employed people, (laughs) all kinds of people, um, bridge the gap of law of attraction and business. Not many people really talk about this. And if they do, I don't follow them anymore because they always end up saying stuff that's not true. So my my stuff comes from Abraham Hicks and some Bashar, Sanaya Roman, from infinite intelligence, from my own um, source, all that stuff. So uh, I don't follow humans anymore. <laughs> it's very rare that I that I listen to a human because humans are interesting aren't they they are an interesting breed (laughs) so okay let's jump into this this podcast is based on my book that's coming out soon it's 366 days of inspiration for entrepreneurs so today's october 17th it is a quote from abraham themselves okay here's the quote never mind what is Imagine it the way you want it to be so that your vibration is a match to your desire. That's it. Never mind what is. So, okay, this is how you live the same life day in, day out, the same life year in, year out, year in, year out. Ten years later, you're living the same life. This is, this is, this is why you live the same life. You're just noticing everything what is right now, current reality. And you're focused on current reality. You're focused on, okay, one of the things I truly believe is that people are too busy. Too busy. I believe this wholeheartedly. Um, I think it's the American culture. I think it's how it is here, right? Well, in the U.S. And it's like people are overscheduled. And I never could understand. And this is one of the reasons why I never had children. I love kids. Don't get me wrong. I love them. I think they're awesome. They're like right there with like, I think dogs are the best things in the world. It's like the best creatures, right? I love my dog. I think they're so smart. I think children are right there. <laughs> they're right there with dogs. That sounded bad, but it's not because dogs are awesome. Super intelligent, super awesome. And so are kids. They're super intelligent, super awesome. I love talking to kids. I actually prefer talking to kids. I prefer talking to kids and dogs more than adults. So, (laughs) but I don't have them. I don't have them. I don't have my own kids because I did not want to be so overwhelmed and so over everything, right? Um, I had depression for half my life, super, you know, major depression, suicidal thoughts daily for over 20 years. And so, you know, I was on the fence with having kids for years on the fence. And then I got married uh, with my first husband and we were going to have kids, but I needed him to uh, not be the way he was. And anyway, that's another story. So I, I was not going to get pregnant. I was like adamant. I was not going to get pregnant. I'm really good about my desire is I'm not getting pregnant. And that's that. (laughs) So I, I never, I've never taken birth control. I never, you know what I mean? Like I very, anyway, I don't know how we're getting down this road, but anyway, so 
if you're a parent, let me know because I know how much work, like I don't know, but you know what I mean? Like I can see how much work that is. I nannied when I was young. So I got a bit of that taste, just a, just a taste of it. And I, and I, you know, really loved kids during the day, having a couple of kids and teaching them and all of that. They're pretty cool. That's how I knew they were really cool people, little people. And so anyway, that's part of the whole thing of like, I just feel like our society is way too um, stressed out and too like overscheduled and too like there's jobs and there's family and there's kids and there's school and there's homework for the kids. I, I can't even imagine. I hated school K through 12. I hated it. I loved college but I hated school, that I can't even imagine, you know, helping kids, especially now they change math and they change all these things that don't make sense. Like I couldn't even imagine having my life, having my business and then taking care of kids and then helping them with their homework. I'm like, how does anybody have any time at all to do some of this stuff that Abraham wants you to do, right? Let me know if, if you're relating to the, what I'm talking about. So a bunch of years ago, I decided that I didn't want any of that. I really wanted a, a, like a real, like I've always wanted freedom. So I worked for myself and I didn't have kids and I really, you know, I don't have, I have very little family. And so I really scaled my life back and I just don't have any stress and don't, don't shoot me because of that. But that's totally by my choice of how I want to live because of the past depression. I just knew that one of the biggest things for me is I, I get overwhelmed and that triggers the depression. So I scaled back on being overwhelmed, like not having a ton of things to do and being busy constantly and not getting things done and feeling like crap, like I don't want that life. So I, I, I get that how easy it is to fall into the day-to-day the day-to-day stuff, right? Because it's right there and it's a lot. It's a lot for you guys. If you're not, like I mentioned this in our call this week in the Academy and the two people, like two of the people that were on the call most of the time, um, neither of them have kids or, you know, they work for themselves and they're like not busy at all. (laughs) So it was really funny because I'm like, I do attract that a lot because my husband and I are not busy at all. Like we have so much time in the day. It's funny, but some of, some of my business owners who have like retail spaces and restaurants and you know, where they have a brick and mortar business, they are super busy. Of course they are. So, and they have families and relationships and all that normal stuff. Right. So I get how it's so easy to be in the day to day. And I remember when I worked full time and was married before and had family responsibilities and all this stuff. Like you're just trying to get through the day. You're just trying to get through the day, trying to survive each day. Right? So that's how your life just continues to be the same way. Right? So this is why I do mindset work in the morning. Going back to the quote, it says, never mind what is imagine it the way you want it to be so that your vibration is a match to your desire. So in the morning, I get my journal and I write how I want my life to be. I write how, you know, like we're in Arizona currently and we're going to California soon to live again (laughs) this year and, you know, waking up to the ocean like we did before, you know, the lifestyle that we're creating in California, I'm envisioning it daily right now so that we can manifest that a lot quicker, a lot more easily. Because if we just focused on our day to day here and not even thought about California, it's going to be a while. It's going to be a while before we get there because we're not putting our focus on it. So if you were one of one of the ones I was talking about earlier about that you have a lot going on, 
you know, take some time whenever you can, especially first thing in the morning, get a journal out, get a notebook and visualize. I hope you're meditating. If you could take 30 days, 30 days, if you could take 30 minutes a day, 15 of those minutes meditating, 15 of those minutes visualizing and writing how you want your life to be. If you did that every morning, your life will drastically change. So, and if you're not as busy as <laughs> what I'm talking about, spend, if you have a lot of time in the day, which some of my clients do, like I said, some of them, especially during this time, um, things have slowed down and stuff. But if you have the time, I honestly, um, I talked about it a lot in yesterday's podcast of my morning mindset stuff, but I spend a good two to three, probably three hours a day in the morning in my meditation room where it's pretty quiet. I get to be by myself. I have my journals. I have my, my YouTube listening to Abraham. I am thinking or visualizing, meditating, writing. I am doing some work as well because I'm posting um, posts of, of thoughts that come to me. I am posting the prosperity game in my group at that time. Um, so I do a bunch of work and during that time, just whatever comes to my mind, I'll do it right then. But somewhere, you know, between like seven to 10, I'm in there. So it's just my like peaceful time. I highly recommend, you know, like yesterday I had a lot of, um, not yesterday, it was today cause I'm, um, recording this a couple days in advance that I had a bunch of really cool manifestations come through of just by thought. And one of my past clients was like, you are an awesome <laughs> manifester because I just have a thought and then the per a person comes through. And it's just really, I, it happened several times today. And, and you know, my, my first thought to her message was, I spend a lot of time in the morning really getting myself in such a good place that the rest of the day flows really well. The rest of the day is just really pretty cool. So anyway, so like Abraham says, never mind what is, imagine it the way you want it to be so that your vibration is a match to your desire. So imagine it, your life, imagine your business, the way that you want it, write about it, imagine it, daydream about it throughout the day, take that time, take dedicated time throughout the day, at least once a day, to preferably in the morning, to do the work, to do that work. Okay, guys, um, join me in the academy. It's $47 a month. You can cancel any time, but you're not going to want to because you get so much. Okay. Link is down below. You can check it out and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.